I'd like to teach how we edit or add information according to the record hints we find or under here with these search records we can dive into these different four websites and go find documents within these four websites. But I have this record hint with this death certificate that I'd like to show you how I'm going to add and edit information according to this death certificate. I've previously opened up this death, death certificate by just scrolling down, clicking on the original, and I've opened it up into a new tab. So as I click on this tab up here, I'll left click and separate these two windows, and I'm going to throw it over here to the right. And then I want to say, hey, I want to compare the screen over here on the left to the personal detail page. Now I've already previously created a video to teach you how to separate windows side by side. So you can watch that if you need to see that again. Now from this death certificate, I'm just going to double click on it to make it a little bit bigger so we can see it. You can see up here that it shows the death, the place of death, the city, the town over here. And over here it doesn't even have that information. I can see here that the birth uh, date is not standardized. So I'll be editing that. But let's go make sure that is her, her birth. So it's March 24th, 1879. So basically all I really need to do is just standardize the date but over here it shows that the birthplace was Pennsylvania County so I can actually add that because of this certificate so I'm going to click on edit next to the birth behind 1879 I'm going to click my space bar and I will choose the date with the calendar next to it because that will standardize it next to birthplace I will left click right before Virginia and I will start typing Pennsylvania and I'm sure it's just going to start appearing here if I spell it right. Pennsylvania. Um, let's see. So here's the county, and it's got this marker next to it. So I will click on that one to standardize that information. And then it's standardized. And in here, for the reason that this information is correct, I'm going to be stating that death certificate provides this death date and place. That's my reason that I feel this information is correct and then I will click Save. Now for the death date and place, the date I believe was correct. Let's go look at that. So January 11th of 61, so yes that is the correct one, but they don't have a place so I can add the place from here. So I'm going to click on Edit next to the death. Once again to standardize that death date, I will left click on my space bar on my keyboard, click the one with the calendar to make it standardized, and then for the death place, I will be putting Danville for the city, Pennsylvania, and you can see as I'm typing, all of a sudden it comes up here in a drop down menu, and this is the correct one, it has the marker next to it, I'll click on that and that is standardized, and once again, I'll be putting certificate that the death certificate provides this death date and place you know what I think I actually got that wrong let me click on save I think for the birth I actually said death didn't I wow yeah I didn't even catch that so I'm going to change that to birth <laughs> and get that right and then I will save that again so just know if you ever make mistakes you can always go back in and change those Let's go grab that burial now. Down here at the very bottom of a death certificate, it will normally state the burial place. Here it states the Richardson Family Cemetery in Keeling, Virginia. So we will go over here to add, and the burial date is over there on the right. That says thir oops, 13th of January of 1961. And you don't have to spell out January because down here in the drop down menu it spells it for you just as a little tip. And then in the place of burial, if I type in the name of the cemetery in the place, you can see it doesn't list the Richardson Family Cemetery down below at all. At least the one that I'm needing, I should say. And so it used to allow us to choose a little thing that said not not in the stuff mentioned above or I could left click in the white and it would accept it. Now it does not do that. So basically I'm forced to choose this Keeling, Pennsylvania, Virginia, United States to standardize it. So that is a little bit frustrating but that's the way it is right now. So I'm going to put on here that the death certificate, certificate provides this burial date and place. 
Because of the fact that the computer would not allow me to put the cemetery up here under place of burial, I will put it down here in the notes. So I'm just going to state right here where it says it also states that Mary was buried in the Richardson Family Cemetery, just so I don't lose that information. And then I'll click on save. So this is how we edit and add information according to the sources that we find.